Hey everybody, it's Thursday afternoon. It's a lovely, rainy, cold day here in southern Ontario. It's drunk pokeroo time. It is beer time. Um, today it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's not a beautiful day outside. Uh, it, it's okay temperature-wise, like it's cool, but it's raining and it's kind of just a blah day. Um, I've been working on the truck. Uh, as you can follow along on Instagram or Facebook there, my truck uh, decided to take a little... Uh, break from running the other day and uh i've been fiddling with it uh just a little trouble with the old uh radiator there but uh you know i'm a resourceful pokeroo and i will get it running again so i can go out and visit all my favorite breweries um one of which is is uh i visited on the very first day of pokapalooza a couple weeks ago out in guelph it's stonehammer brewing um nice little spot you know it's, it's right in that little there's like a triangle like with royal city wellington um, and these guys, and you can kind of get to all of them pretty quickly. Uh, I should mention in Asante as well is not that far away. So, I mean, there's a bunch right in that area. And again, you know, it's, it's, uh, it was just a great day. And I had like five breweries in four hours and picked up a ton of new beers. Uh, one of which was this, the Continuity Baltic Porter. Now I had a chance to get a, a little taster of this and boom, I was sold. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into the whole glass. That's uh, a strong beer. 7.8% ABV, so it's, you know, a bit more of a sipper than a pounder, um, which is good when you're taking a break from working on the car. You know, it's just you get frustrated sometimes, and you just need to have a little break. So that's what that's what we're doing now. We're having a little break. We're going to talk about a little beer and maybe some things coming up in the next week. Um, so let's get into it. No better time than the present. Doesn't that look lovely? Nice tan head. Um, beautiful dark color. If you hold it right up to the light, you can see through it a bit, but let's just call that a nice, beautiful, impenetrable black color. I can smell roasted malts as soon as I poured it, so I, was, you know, I, I love a good porter. <sighs> Definitely some dark chocolate on that smell. Mm. Um, you know, we did the Muddy York Porter earlier this week, and, and you know, I love a, a nice porter because... I mean, and I love a good stout, but stouts can be a little heavier and a little more taxing on the, the taste buds. And I mean, it's the beginning of my Thursday, so usually I get to have, a, you know, two, three beers and uh, really enjoy my day off. Um, like anybody should. If it's your day off, enjoy it, you know. Enjoy good beer, not too much beer. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. Cheers. Now, that's a good porter. Oh, just a a big roasted malt flavor, like a big dark chocolate, kind of bittersweet. The little bit of the coffee notes on the back end giving you that bitterness, but it's got a, a, a nice warming alcohol feel to it. Not like too boozy. You know, not like we're into the, the bourbon, uh, age, the bourbon barrel age stuff where you're getting a, a wallop of booze on the back there. Uh, not like that at all. Just a warming touch of, of alcohol on the back, back, back note there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Delicious. I mean, Porter's a great beer. For sort of this transitional period between the seasons, I, th I think I've mentioned that before. You know, it's a great beer. It's it's not as heavy as a stout. You know, a stout's got a much thicker mouthfeel. This is more, it's creamy, but it's cruising towards the medium mouthfeel. You know, um, it gives your mouth a nice coating. It's a, it's a sticky beer, and when I write sticky or I say sticky, I mean, that flavor's sticking in your mouth like that. Yeah, mm, that's good. That's a darn fine porter. You know, when I do my videos, um, picking the beer is not usually done with much forethought. I just kind of go in the fridge and, what haven't I had in a while? What brewery haven't I had in a while? You know, because I like to mix it up and, and, and really experience a lot of different flavors. Um, you know, it was IPAs for a while and double IPAs for a while, but a nice Imperial Porter, wow, that's just, it just slows my day down. And that's, I think, what a really good sipper beer is, is it just kind of brings your day back to where it should be. 
you know, reset your clock a little bit for the day. You know, I was scrambling with the car and I was getting, you know, as I said before, I was getting frustrated because I couldn't quite figure out what it was. I think I've got it now, but I just need a break. I just need to stop, sit, you know, listen to some music, read my book for a little bit and just kind of decompress, you know, and use my day off for a little bit of that as opposed to all being frantic and trying to get a ton of stuff done. Anyways, guys, um, Stonehammer, they have quite a few listings at the LCBO. Uh, if you go to your local LCBO, I think you can believe you can find their uh, oatmeal coffee stout, which is fantastic, just outstanding, four out of five for me all day long. I mean, it's like drinking a cold coffee, which is delicious if you if you try it. Um, I believe their Pilsner uh, or their, I, their Dark Ale definitely is available, and I love that one too. I mean, it's a nice English-style ale. So, I mean, you can find them. This one you have to go to the uh, the brewery to get. Again, why not go? They have tours on Saturdays. Um, you know, or just pop by if you happen to be in the area. Uh, you can you can hit a couple of breweries at the same time. But uh, you know what? Deliciousness. And that's uh, what I was hoping for. So, that's it for me uh, in terms of this week for beer reviews. Uh, of course, every day on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. Um, one or two a day. Just exploring all the stuff that we picked up during Pocapalooza for that week. Uh, there's a lot of beer there. I mean, you know, it's starting to thin out a little bit, but there's still a ton to go through. So every day is something new. Every day is something exciting. Uh, you know, not a heck of a lot going on. Next week, I uh, might get out and do a few uh, visits again because, you know, there's new stuff that's popped out. So I'd like to go out and uh, keep my stock up and keep my uh, my beer fridge happy. Uh, wallet's not so happy, but you know, that's what a wallet's for. What's, my, what's the point of making money if you can't spend some? Um, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the feedback. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you. Don't forget, tomorrow night, once again, Cast Night at Cameron's Brewing in Oakville. I'll leave the link down below. I think there's still tickets left. Uh, if you're coming, I can't wait to meet you. Um, you know, I mean, we're just going to have a good time, me and, and a bunch of people uh, that, that I know. Uh, and we're meeting up with some people that uh, we're friends with on, on Instagram. Super excited about that. So, I mean, you know, it's meant to be enjoyed. It's a super fun night. Uh, we went to the one cast night at Collective Arts last month, and I had a blast. Or two months ago now, sorry. I had a blast. It was it was one of the best times of uh, my craft beer visiting, and it sort of kicked off my whole desire to get out and visit more breweries. Um, by nature, I'm not a, you know, go out <laughs> and visit the world. I like to kind of stay home and hang out here but uh you know i'm just i had such a good time that time and, and at subsequent you know polka palooza and going out to breweries that uh, I, I look forward to it uh, i'm sad that i'm not getting out this week but next week for sure anyways guys i'm gonna go and sit and enjoy the rest of my beer and then uh fiddle with the truck and then uh, make some dinner and have a few more beers enjoy my day off i hope that your weekend treats you well uh, if you're working may your shifts go quickly and your evenings go slowly if you're off be thankful that you got that weekend off. It's certainly a time to enjoy with your friends and family and a couple of nice pints. Cheers. Oh, that is tasty.